Hey, good morning guys. So today we are in Quebec City. We came to attend an RV show. So let's get to it. Hi, this is Dory and I'm Mena. We travel with our lovely dog Fiona to discover the most beautiful locations. And our goal is to share with you what it's like to live as a nomad. So thanks for following and welcome to our channel. So this little camper is called the Bunk Camp and I have a serious crush on this RV. I gotta tell you guys, look how darn cute that is. Oh my god. This is the awning. And it looks like it goes on a 2500 which 6.6 .6 liter style truck and just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those lines. We want to get a look inside. It's micro, but you know us. We like to be in small, small campers. Wait. Donc, aucune infiltration au dos. C'est une caravane portée qui est euh, quatre saisons, pleine quatre saisons. Wow. C'est euh, isolé à l'uréthane giclé. Euh, on a des, euh, des systèmes, on a 500 watts de panneaux solaires. On a 300 ampères de batterie euh, lithium autochauffant. Possibilité de monter à 600 ampères. C'est une boîte, euh, bien sûr, complètement autonome. Ah oui. Il y a zéro propane à l'intérieur. Excellent. Le, le, le seul carburant qu fossile qu'on utilise, c'est le diesel ou l'essence le, le, régulière pour notre unité de chauffage qui est euh, Webasto. Et puis ça ici, c'est pour... Euh... c'est le réservoir de carburant pour euh, le chauffage, l'unité de chauffage. Parfait. Um, en fait, c'est moi qui ai conçu, euh, développé de, et fabriqué de A à Z de cette unité-là, okay. qui s'en va en production et euh, on prévoit de faire une cinquantaine de litres par année. Okay. Ah, en haut, on a notre lit. Okay. On a un lit de, qui s'extensionne, de, qui devient un lit queen. Oh, okay. On le tire, devient complètement un lit queen, donc c'est très spacieux à l'intérieur. Ouais. Ça a l'air plutôt... Plutôt restreint, mais un coup qu'on est couché, on est, on est super bien. On a un okay. peu de lumière qui est juste au-dessus. Euh, des ports USB pour charger les téléphones? USB, USB-C, euh, on a tous les, tous les à, ports. À, à oui. côté du lit? Absolument, okay. sur les lampes de lecture. Il y en a ah, plusieurs endroits de... installés. Okay. Euh, on a des réservoirs à eau claire de 91 litres. Oh, okay. Ce qui est quand même très, très bien. On a douche intérieure, douche extérieure. Toilette à cassette domestique euh, 5 gallons. Ah, oh, la toilette c'est ici? La toilette est ici. La toilette est euh... So this is the cassette toilet here. Yep. And, and to flush and uh, Okay, rinse. so this is for flushing and rinsing over here. Yeah. Great, okay. A beautiful upholstery. The cork floors are really to die for. Absolutely beautiful. So here we have the out yeah. outdoor shower. Put that right there. Um, fire extinguisher a, here. We have a pan. Oh, lovely! Extent, yeah. Okay. So we have an extensible uh, pan we, we put on the floor. Okay. And we have a curtain, uh, shower curtain we hook on the on the ceiling, six six place. Okay. Then you you get your je sais pas comment on peut dire en anglais. Uh, shower hose. Yeah, and we attach there on the ceiling, so you have the uh, your inside shower. Okay, great. And then you could put the same curtain and you hook on the door right here. Okay. So you have your shower outside. Okay, so you could possibly shower inside yeah. with the, the shower pan. Absolutely. And also you have the, the curtain that you could attach to the door so you could shower outside. Yep. That's wonderful. Okay, so let, let's go inside then. Okay, great. The table is on the lagoon. Foot. Okay, so we have a lagoon style table. Uh, so that could be moved around. Yep. Beautiful. Is there storage here? Yep. 
Oh, this okay. Is what, this so is a you thing, put, actually. This is amazing. Okay, so I was trying to open it. I was having trouble, but this is brilliantly conceived. So you actually have to push it and pull it yeah. for it to open so that when you're driving, it doesn't open by itself. Now that, guys, is just absolutely brilliant. And, uh, and this is a uh, blue motion uh, hinges, so you don't have to have another loop. Uh, lock on the door so door will stay closed these ones yeah oh lovely okay that's really well thought of and then we have uh, 110 and USB charging station over here absolutely and uh, so this is the controller for the Wabasto heater yes Wabasto heater yep. okay so that's the only fuel that you have on board and uh, no propane which we love we love that yep. this camper is no propane and can you explain what this is here this is for the lightning actually this is a this is this the station control all the lights it, yeah all the light and there's four different zone which the ceiling the center ceiling the side ceiling the the, the lead on the floor under the cabinets and the one which is in the uh, the bedroom Okay. So we have four zones which we could put whatever we want. Uh, the uh, plus clair, plus sombre, and color. Est-ce qu'on peut le mettre plus clair? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, and désolé. also, everything, everything on this RV, and uh, it's man manageable with your with your phone. That's great. Yeah, the light, everything. I'm just gonna connect and. Okay. Show you. So we have some more storage down here. All right. So here it's all the plumbing. We have plumbing down here. Yep. The water heater, actually. It's oh. a 16 liter uh, water heater. So it's a little tough to see. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the water heater and all of your plumbing, the water pump, everything, all yeah. that stuff is down there. So every valve, every every little thing you need to to use to do the servicing on your RV is really easy accessible. That's great. No panel to remove. Oh, nothing. great. <laughs> Actually, the, mini the mechanical uh, chamber is right there. Oh. Wonderful. So you you could see and you could have access to your um, breaker. Mm -hmm. The uh, the shut off. Yeah. And uh, the um, the inverter. And the inverter, perfect, yep. great. And the water tank we could see down there. It's a little dark, but that's okay. Yeah. Water tank is down there, and uh, I love these awning style windows. So you can close it with the shade like that, or you can have a mosquito screen. That's just beautiful. Yep. Little nets for storage over here. I love how you guys have the hidden storage in as many places as possible. It's so yeah. important in a small RV to have storage. And actually, I'm gonna show you what uh, the operation of the uh, the bed. The bed? Okay, actually, great. it's just by, there's a lock here. Okay. We just pull the lock and we extend the bed and we have an extension the 13 inches uh, wide right there. Okay. So that's give you a queen size bed. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's amazing. Oh yeah, that's cool. And this size camper that is outstanding. And the sink, so you have a separate sink yeah. So and you have a, s a separate spout for drinking water and... Yeah, this is UV filter uh, drinkable water. Amazing. I love that you have the two separate faucets, yeah. one for drinking water and one for doing dishes and things like that. That's brilliant. So, so this is your little command station. Absolutely, yeah. So it tells you your level of diesel, your uh, fresh water, your gray water tank, and uh, your battery situation. Absolutely. Lovely. Okay. And also we, we manage, we have sensor for temperature sensor, which is monitoring the, uh, the, uh, the water area, the, the mechanical chamber, the temperature. So you can manage inside your house because it's a four, full four season mm -hmm. RV. So you could see the temperature where you are. So if you have any uh, intervention to do, like putting some warm to warm the, the the space okay okay for your system because it's a lithium battery so it in uh, under five degrees you won't charge yeah. so you have to keep your your rv at around 10 degrees that's amazing yeah and Good like job. like we said we could manage the uh the lightning also and we could we could put it 
brighter if we need. Yes. Colors, whatever. That's great. Yeah. That's really great. Yeah, that's perfect. Even so, you could put the um, atmosphere, ambiance. Ambiance lighting, yeah. Yeah, like you want, desire. So even the little one. Yeah, for date night, ambiance lighting. <laughs> yep. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Color, everything. Lovely. All right, let's take a look at that fridge. Is that a three and a half cubic? Yes. Cubic foot fridge. That's an isotherm. Yep. That's great. Also having the uh, microwave. Yeah, it's always. Oh, and we have a little freezer. Yay! Yep. Bonus. That's great. And I can already. I feel it's really cold. It's nice to have a microwave, not for cooking, but for reheating. It's super convenient. And the cooking station actually is uh, plaque induction. Mm -hmm. Or you guys having a little, and whatever you want as a, a little stove uh, Martin. Yeah, so with 300 amp hours yeah. of battery and 500 watts of solar, you will be fine with an induction cooktop. You're not going to run out of power. No, absolutely no. not. <laughs> so really well thought out, definitely. And I love these little reading lights. And there are charging ports for the phone as well. This is a CO2 detector. And we have some more nets for storage here. And as you can see, there are lights everywhere in here and a beautiful, beautiful moon roof. Just lovely. And I love that, you know, because it's a, a little bit of a um, smaller space over here, you have those back lights so you could see the view outside. You know, you could see if the sun's come up, if the sun is going down. I really, really love that there are windows over there. What else could we say? Okay, so down here we have the fuse box. Yeah, like I said, uh, for me it was really important to not remove any panels too. Yeah. So to get to check your fuse uh, and your breaker panel. Yeah. So here we have 110. Here we have um, USB C. Uh, oh, USB C. Oh, lovely. USB and USB C. Brilliant. Yep. yep. Really great. And then here it's it's the logo. <laughs> and also on, on this one we have a well I don't know <laughs> we should show that but it's it's we have a little well it's a hidden compartment absolutely okay guys don't tell anyone it's a hidden compartment <laughs> Ma carrière c'est que je venais du um, de l'aéronautique j'ai fait des intérieurs de jet privé c'était ça ma carrière et je concevais les, les, les intérieurs je participais à la construction des, des intérieurs comme ça fait que j'ai ramené mon le plafond, le ceiling, l'éclairage, ben me vient de là, mon inspiration me vient de là, les détails. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui, des spécialistes qui viennent ici, ça soit dedans, ils disent, ok, là, 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 vous êtes en train d'amener le monde du, du RV ailleurs, là, vraiment, là, ouais. c'est une autre chose qui se passe ici, là, qu'est-ce que c'est ça, là? Non, Pourquoi? mais là, là que tu le dis, je le vois. Comme jet privé, oui. on le voit. Les détails, oui. c'est vraiment comme les petits détails qui font la diffé absolument. différence. C'est comme un feeling de luxe. Oui, absolument. Ça. absolument. Mais c'est un feeling de luxe. Mais le prix, c'est quoi pour ben, ce VR? Euh, on, a, on commence à 80 000. OK. Et cette version-là est à 108 000. OK. Parce que ça, c'est 100, 100 100 autonome avec vraiment toutes les commodités et, oui. et le confort est vraiment du côté luxueux. Ouais. Mais, mais ça, vaut, ça vaut le prix oui. aussi oh, parce non, que ouais, c'est les, les pièces de qualité. Vous oui, avez, oui, les je... matériaux, c'est que les produits de qualité, top mais, qualité. Ben oui, tout est lithium, tu as 300 amps, euh, 500 watts, c'est comme. Il y a tout. Oui, il y a tout, vraiment, vraiment. C'est vraiment comme impressionnant. L'autre question, oui. Com comment on, on, on l'enlève du camion? C'est euh, Ces boîtes-là viennent avec euh, des pattes. Des pattes, des, OK. Des pattes pour installer la boîte ou enlever la boîte ou remiser la boîte. On les met où? Sur le... Non, on, on les laisse à la maison. Non, une... non, sur le VR, oh, on les met ici. où? Ah, c'est des pattes, okay. c'est des pattes euh, réco titan OK. Qui, euh, qui viennent, c'est des plaques qui viennent s'installer ici. Mm -hmm. On prend une petite drille à batterie, okay. on monte, on met quatre pattes sur les côtés okay. et seulement qu'avec une drille à batterie, on, on lève la boîte. Alors n'importe qui peut le faire? N'importe qui peut le faire. Ok. Ça prend peut-être une heure la première fois euh, rentrer la boîte, mais euh, 
La deuxième fois, c'est 20-30 minutes maximum. Mais on ne voyage pas avec les pattes? Non, on ne voyage pas avec non, les pattes. Non, ça, ça reste à la maison? Ça reste à la maison. C'est okay. trop... C'est lourd un peu, c'est encombrant. Okay. Bah, c'est pas fait pour traîner les pattes. OK, parfait. C'est vraiment pour embarquer, débarquer ou remiser la boîte. So to actually remove this camper from the back of the truck, you have a tripod jack stand. So you're not going to carry it with you, but you'll leave it at home. And it's easy with the drill to just attach the tripod jack stand to the actual camper so that you can remove the truck. It's easy, simple with a drill, not complicated. It comes with it, but it's a little bit cumbersome to carry with you. And for the outdoor enthusiast, they probably wouldn't be leaving the camper at a campground anyway so it's it's ideal for an outdoorsman you couldn't exactly live in the RV with the jack tripod jack stand installed it's really just to remove it from the camper but once again this is conceived as an outdoor type of RV so you wouldn't really be leaving the RV anywhere anyway you would be always taking it with you sur okay, mes poteaux oui, rouges. Oui. Là, il y a comme des, un kit tuyaulé pour des planches sur mes poteaux. Okay. En fait, je les ai installés seulement pour montrer que rapidement, on pouvait mettre des kits tuyaulés sur ma boîte. Mais on n'a pas besoin du kit tuyaulé mm. pour transporter une planche à neige ou. Euh, 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 on, on peut mettre seulement que la partie de foam et strappé avec des straps. Mmh. On n'est pas obligé. C'était juste okay. pour montrer ouais, ouais. que pour je, montrer que je qu peux. peut le faire. Oui. Ouais. Okay. Moi, je veux donner l'option aux gens. Si tu préfères mettre un kit tuyaulé, mettre des canaux dessus, le barrer. Mmh. Mais les... j'ai les fonds qu'on voit l'autre côté. Ouais. Si tu veux venir. Ça, ça coûte une fraction du prix. C'est combien ça euh, Ça, je pense que c'est à peu près comme 100 dollars ou, wow. 4... ou 80 dollars. Plus on a les straps. Qui se barre tuyaulé aussi. Mm -hmm. Donc, pour le tiers du prix, tu vas pouvoir installer ça et ça va être, ça va être parfait. Mm -hmm. Moi, je donne les deux options. Ouais. Si c'est moi, je pense. Ben ouais. Oui. Ben ouais. Je n'ai pas besoin d'avoir des gros systèmes sur le côté qui. Ouais. Est juste... Et c'est tuyaulé. C est, c est... Ouais. So, another detail that uh, was shown to me right now is that you have these tuyaulé phones and they cost about $100. So, if you're not so concerned about locking up whatever you want to attach to the side, so say for example, if you have a paddle board and a, or a surfboard and you're not really concerned about safety because you know where you're going, you know you're safe, well then you could just strap it onto these which cost about $100 and it's going to save you some money. So that's an option, but you also have the option of having the Thule these these ones that are about $300 and the benefit of those ones is that you can lock them up so what's fun about this RV is that you have these here these bars here that enable you to use either one of them and it just gives you a lot more flexibility just depending on what your budget is what your comfort level is and I think it's absolutely genius that you could use Both of those options. On travaille sur la version de 8 pieds, mais présentement on est sur la 6 pieds et demi. Okay. La boîte pèse, équipée comme elle est là, elle pèse 2200 livres. Mm -hmm. okay? Mais on fait la version pour les 1500 qui sera aux alentours de 1700 livres, 1700 livres. Ah, okay. Et la prochaine étape, c'est on va développer la boîte de 8 pieds. Ok, mais présentement, vous avez. Présentement, on a seulement 6 pieds et demi. 6 pieds et demi, oui. 2200 livres. Alors, on a 2200 livres et 1700 livres. Ok, et il y a aussi 1700 livres. Oui. Alors, le 1700 livres, ça manque quoi? On n'a pas l'eau on n'a pas le règle de toit. On a 200 watts de panneaux solaires, 200 ampères de batterie lithium. Ok. Euh, on n'a pas de micro-ondes. On a que nos réservoirs à 50 litres au lieu de. 91. Au lieu de 91. Ok. En fait, 50 plus 16 litres dans, les, euh, dans le réservoir d'eau chaude, ça veut dire 60 et, euh, 66 litres. Okay. Um, oui, comme je dis, pas de micro-ondes parce que c'est un rangement. Des, des petits détails comme ça qui ne seront pas là. L'intérieur ne change pas. C'est le, le même intérieur. C'est oh, okay. euh, aussi, euh, aussi clean que c'est là. On n'enlève pas de composantes pour ça. Ouais. Mais il y en a du monde qui n'ont pas besoin de 500 watts. Absolument. Ça Alors, reste un excellent système à ça. 200 watts avec 200 ampères. Il ouais. faut juste 
c'est l'habitude de vie, de consommation électrique à l'intérieur qu'il faut un petit peu plus surveiller. Oui, c'est ça. Alors, si quelqu'un veut um, sauver du poids, sauver de l'argent, alors ils vont mettre moins de watts de solaire ou, ou moins, de, 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 moins de trucs. Absolument. Absolument. Okay. We really hope you like this video. It's a really special product made in Canada, made in Quebec, but it will be available near you very soon.